happy holidays with di- Timeless Wealth. Happy Hi, guys. Happy holidays, Amy. You look very festive uh, this afternoon. You like our new set? Oh, I yeah. forgot my hat. It's, it's right over there, guys. Come on, Jalal. You forgot your hat on purpose. Here, I'll, I'll go get it really Okay, quick. go get it. So right. we thought we would do something a little bit different, keep it light for the holidays. But we thought, you know, everybody's kind of busy with the last minute holiday shopping. Sean, have you even started? No. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Didn't think so. (laughs) So we thought we would highlight some really unique gift giving ideas to help you uh, check those final things off your list. We've got clients that are very creative and into all sorts of stuff. So we thought we'd highlight some of their items as well as just some local um, and Canadian companies to to support. Um, I'm a big fan of supporting local uh, over the holidays. 100%. And uh, companies and authors, right? Canadian companies and authors? Yeah, this definitely has a Canadian... uh, kind of bent to it. And uh, I thought I'd start off with one of our clients is actually a huge uh, baseball fan. And so if you have a baseball fan in your life of either the sport in general or the Toronto Blue Jays specifically, then these two books are are the books for for them. The first one is called Our Game 2. It's Influential Figures and Milestones in Canadian Baseball. And it's a it's a really well done book in that the uh, it, it highlights various participants in history over like probably over the last 150 years in terms of groundbreaking people that really grew the game in, in of baseball in North America, not just professionally, but also at the collegiate level and so on and so forth. Right. And we all know about the obvious people in Canada, the, uh, you know, the Alex Anthopoulos of the world or the Paul Beeson's mm-hmm. of the world, but there are just dozens and dozens of groundbreaking Canadians that participated in this great game. And uh, this book here um, highlights many of them. And one of our clients was a contributing uh, uh, author to this uh Cool. this book well it's a really That's good cool. like coffee table book right because yeah. it's like a collection of short stories yep. and facts like it's really neat just to kind of for the sports fan in your life yeah, yeah. just have on your coffee table yeah. or like in a for example doctor's office you're, or you're a massive sure. baseball fan I, I am i mean in, in in perusing through that book i realize that i have a lot to learn, <laughs> <laughs> Still um, a lot to learn. now this book here now this is for the long-suffering blue jays fan in your life <laughs> And this is called, uh, this book is called We Are, We Can, We Will. And it chronicles cool. the 1992 World Series run that the Blue Jays accomplished. And they were the first team outside of the United States to win a World Series. It was pretty exciting. Really good team. A lot of stuff going on in that uh, in that run. And again, one of our clients who contributed to uh, influential figures in Canadian baseball also contributed to this one. And uh, again, it, if you want to harken back to the glory days, even though the Blue Jays are starting to enter, and I think to a, into a phase <laughs> of glory now, um, that was definitely a phase of glory back in 92, 93. And this chron- chronicles this very nicely. Yeah, that's cool. a neat one. I like that. That's a good one. Well, speaking of books, so I've got young kids. So I found this wonderful book. Uh, it has by to be related to kids, doesn't it? <laughs> it doesn't. Amy? it I does. love books. That's one of my favorite gifts to give his books. Um, so Troy Townsend created a book called A Moose in a Maple Tree. And it's kind of like the play on a partridge in a pear tree, but it's all Canadian. So, you know, I'll open up beautiful photos and colors and just a fun, fun cool. Christmas holiday story. So seven beavers building, six wills breaching, five hockey sticks, four totem poles, three snowmen, two polar bears, and a moose in a maple tree. Isn't That's that pretty cute? awesome. It's That's really awesome. cute. And then he's got online. You can go on. You, there's music and stuff to go along with it that kids can interact with it. Yep. And then he also created a whole series um, called Canadian Monster Club, and so it's all based on Canadian, you know, mythological creatures, and it gives a little bit of a story and this one's on the Sasquatch and again it's it's got a little story to it and it's got some rhyming in it and some games that they can play in the book but just a really really fun fun holiday story and, and kids will get a kick out of it too. Cool. So. Some cool bedtime stories. I, I guess. know. I like it. So so is that being a Canadian a monster book is like you know, Canadian being hockey is Tiger Williams featured in there. <laughs> I'm just wondering. Anyway, actually, the you always number, have to put hockey in a Canadian book. I you mean, know, it there's just, hockey in all of always. these, and I think if the monsters, I think they're up to like 15. So it's like a big collection that you can get your kids kind of hooked on. So I always wonder why lacrosse players don't get a little more, you know, a little more that's upset true. because lacrosse is even more Canadian. You could argue yeah, that's true. Hockey. I would anyway, agree anyways, with that. Really? What, really? It, that is oh, yeah. the lacrosse? national sport, isn't it? Is. it? It's yeah. the official national yeah. sport. Is so everyone lacrosse. talks about hockey sticks, and then it's lacrosse not. players are like, what about our sticks? I mean, I I think we're more Canadian than these <coughs> hockey players. Anyway, I, I know. digress. I know. I really thought it would be hockey, but nope. apparently it's not. It's lacrosse. Well, we've also got for the foodie on your list. 
So this is a great company. I love all of their products. Um, it's Salt Spring Kitchen Company based out of uh, British Columbia. They make all sorts of jams and preservatives and red pepper jelly. Um, so if you're, I'm, I'm not a cook at all, um, but these are really easy. If you can make a charcuterie board and put some stuff down on a, a tray, it makes it really easy. My favorite is actually their hot mango spicy pepper jelly. Is that here or no? It's not no. in this one, but it, you go to their website it, the, and they have it in some of the local shops around the area. You can pick up their products, but it's so good. It's Looks so, good. Well, it's super easy. Yep. You take a cracker, put a little bit of cream cheese and a little bit of the hot spicy mango on the top. You honestly look like you did a really, really, really? impressive. You said they're in BC, but they're you can get them in here in Toronto, Columbia, right? but You can get them in Toronto okay. and get them online. It's awesome. They have so many different options, uh, <laughs> hot sauces and all sorts of stuff. Cheese, so, cheese, please collection. I like that. I like I that name. I like. I even like how they packaged it. Actually, that's, yeah. pretty, that's a pretty cool package. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. And it's it tastes so good. So for somebody that likes to try new things, that's a really, really good option as well. Cool. And then yeah. suppose you're having the uh, the, uh, the cheese and the wine and the uh, uh, what is that jam? I guess, yeah. or just the spreads? What would you have with those candles? I guess with with the candles be like your candlelight dinner, or what are those? <laughs> candles make a great like if you've got a hostess thing and things mm -hmm. that you've got to do. We have a client of ours that makes these. They're up in Georgian Bay. It's called Lamb and Kiss Candles. So they're soy based candles. Oh wow! And they're unique because they have the curly uh, the curly wick, which is pretty cute. Yep. But tons of holiday uh, f you know s fragrance. Uh, they've got sugar plum, tree farm. Rum pum pum, which is like a an eggnog and butter rum oh, smell. Cool. So yeah. really, really nice gift. Again, really, you know, put it in a gift basket or take it for a hostess gift. Uh, really, really nice and great now, smells. What, what are these things here? Okay. What? what, what so are <laughs> you're gonna laugh. <laughs> Sean, Sean's just looking at them and like, what you're are these like, things? What is this? So this is a company out of Cornwall, Ontario, and it's called Radical Roots. Oh, okay. So this is for the green thumb or the kind of wannabe green thumb, yeah, which yeah. I I would love to be a green thumb. I'm just not very good at it. Yeah. This makes it easy. So for anybody who wants to like, you know, the butterflies and the bees and creating these beautiful meadows that you see that look so lovely, but you can never grow anything. Yeah. What they are, they're little clay balls that have that are packed with seeds and they're like little seed bombs. Oh, cool. And you literally just throw them around and the water will naturally wash you it into the soil. You have to dig a hole for it? Or you, you don't just... have to. You just literally throw it where you want it to grow, let the rain wash it into the soil and it will grow. They're perennials, so they'll come up every year. You don't have to do anything. It's wow. super low maintenance. And again, it's all Canadian like so wildflower seeds. So what would that, what would that grow there? This one is the, which one is this one? This is the Blooming Blend. So this is more like butterfly um, type one. And I think you've got the Bee Zen Blend. Bee -zen, yeah, Bee Zen so, Blend. So I have yeah. some friends that like to grow things in their backyard. Um, there you go. Here. <laughs> yeah, you're, this is what they can do. <laughs> well, maybe not that. But yeah. is, there, is there different varieties that uh, they can grow? There's lots they can of grow? stuff. There's trees. There's all, but again, the whole concept of it's the clay with the seeds. You I just toss it okay. and let it grow. Okay. All right. It's so easy. It's it. super easy. So okay. that These are one pretty is cool though. Like you just yeah, they are. They're great. Them. You That's literally just awesome. toss it. I don't need a shovel. I don't need, <laughs> I don't need nope. a hatchet. I need nothing. You don't nothing. have to do any of that. So it. this is my kind of uh, planting. Plus it's great. Like you want to, you know, bees and butterflies are really yeah. important and same with birds, a lot of the seeds and things like that. Yeah. So it's a really nature friendly way and get people thinking about But you'll about probably spring. need, if you want to, like, if you want to grow, I don't know, like, let's just say a flower bed, I don't know, eight by eight or 10 by 10, you'll probably need quite a bit okay, of these, right? I just said I wasn't a green thumb. I have no idea. Oh. I'm just figuring I'm going to throw a whole bunch of these and just That's a good idea. Joel's going to fill a pickup. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to think about the backyard. logistics behind it, guys. I don't know. Uh, this will be my trial. I'll do an update in the spring and we'll, we'll see how it goes. But please give us please give us updates. Yeah. Okay. That's how that so works. that's a really, really good one Lovely too. Gift. What do you got on your list there, Jalal? Well, I have actually I have nothing to showcase. However, I have some stuff, but I wanted to see what is this dance collection dance magazine. So this is a great organization. So if people are thinking about holiday gift giving for the person that's artistic in your life, um, this is a great organization. Um, it's called Dance Collection Dance, which is it supports performing arts, museums, archive, basically preserving Canada's dance heritage. So they do lots of events around the country um, that they sponsor and support. Um, but again, it's a really, really neat organization for those artists in your life uh, that want yeah. to support 
support the dancing community yep. and the historical information. Um, that's a really great organization as well. And we have we have cool. many clients that actually do a lot of uh, community support, charity support, and actually Absolutely. really get involved in, in, in a lot of events on yeah. behalf of the charities that they work with. It's yeah. quite, quite exciting. Yeah. 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 Cool. No, it's a good one. Is it my turn? It's your turn. What else do you got? Okay. So like I said previously, I have nothing to showcase. However, I have some ideas. Uh, So two of them are books. um, And in terms of gifts, there was one cool thing that I came across um, one time last year, actually. But the first book was called... It's called The Theory of Crows. It's They're, they're both Canadian authors. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Theory of Crows is by David Robertson. It, I think it's already released, I believe, in November, October, fall of this year, 2022. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's about the, uh, it's a father and daughter. They go on a journey together. Um, it's a little bit of, um, I'd say, uh, uh, Native Aboriginal themes, right? I grew up in BC, so right. we, we were very like, we, we'd always go to like Fort Langley and, you know, we were really involved, I guess, uh, really exposed to the Native art and Native culture and stuff. So I kind of grew up liking that stuff. Yeah. Um, but this one, David Robertson, he writes this book called The Theory of Crows and it's a relationship of between father and daughter um, and how... It, it, basically the synopsis of the book is how special that relationship is, right? Like the father and, and the daughter and how the, the uh, throughout the, the book and throughout the, the journey that they go together, how the father is not only trying to always, um, I'd say, protect his daughter, right? It's, it's more of a natural journey, mm-hmm. but he's also trying to uh, guide her uh, in that, right? So I found it pretty cool. Like I was reading... Um, I was reading the summary and 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 just like what people have said about it. The themes are pretty cool. And, and the, just in the sense of how special the relationship is between a father and a daughter, like the love that's there, yeah. the care, but at the same time, you want to, you know, you want to teach your children and you want to teach your daughter as well, right? right? Especially obviously trying to break any, any, some kind of traditional taboo uh, or whatnot. So that's the first Canadian book. That, uh, yeah, that sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Um, the, the next one is called 14 Days. Now, this is a collection of authors, but it's edited by Margaret Atwood, which, in my opinion, is one of the best writers. Like, yeah. She's really, really great. And this just literally talks about it's 14 days on top of a, uh, of a building in New York City. And it just talks about nature, the nature and empathy of human beings during the COVID-19 uh, huh. pandemic. Wow. So it's actually pretty cool. It shows like how, for example, not only like humans came together, um, how... And in, in times like this, how humans do come together just to overcome these, um, uh, I guess these, like these turbulent times, yeah. right? Like when COVID-19 hit, obviously none of us were expecting it. It was all of a sudden, I remember yeah. I was in San Francisco. I got stuck because, you know, you couldn't travel at that time. Down, Everything yeah. shut down. And I got stuck there for an extra, I think, three weeks at the time. And it, it just goes to show you... Um, just how how the the cohesion between humans and how we can come together in desperate times to really get over uh, whatever you know whatever hard times right mm-hmm. and I know we're I know we're gonna keep it light so I'm not trying to bring up uh, <laughs> uh, finance in any way but it just goes to show you the ingenuity of humans the, yeah. the creativity of humans to to just get over their problems I, I'd say in like pandemics what are you laughing at Sean I know uh, you're smiling not, I did, I did you got something to say tell me. I don't what is it? I don't laugh at everything. <laughs> you do. <laughs> but when you laugh, I know I, I know it's for good cause. Uh, the other thing is, I like I like that idea though because I think right now at least a lot of the clients we've been chatting with recently like people are really excited like this feels like we're gonna get to see people again yep. this year and so coming yep. together and so it's that nice whole to be theme seen. yeah oh for sure yeah, yeah, yeah. so it feels like that 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 thing we went through you know covid it's like that's starting to go back yeah. in, you know in in the history of it from us which is nice absolutely and i think it's great to even reflect upon uh what uh you know what the human population went through in the yeah. past couple of years to learn to you know to grow from there to to see where we possibly made mistakes even just at a yeah um you know at a social or affect level not yeah. even you know at obviously political levels or yeah. one of those are very grand levels but just at a at yeah. a humane level yeah. right no, i, I think neat. it's great and where we did really well right i think honestly i think we can give ourselves a pat on the back on how we dealt with covid19 yeah right like, yeah. I, I think that's fair. Yeah. i would, I would yeah. agree with that yeah. right sure. yeah um and then one actually two more things maybe so one thing i uh i really like is something called the happy box so it's a company uh out, based out here i believe in toronto you, you you basically choose a theme so one of the themes is maybe like comfort and joy Right. And they just put like a gift basket for you. They say they tell you they tell you what, you know, after they compile the basket is. Yeah. They tell you what it you know, what they included in the basket. Right. You know, like they choose different things for you and just stuff like that. Like it could be like really cool. uh, Just 
you know, comfort, you know, comfort clothes, right? Like, you know, during the holidays, we all get lazy. So we just sit in our house sometimes. The comfy socks. Yeah, the comfy, you know, like the onesies. Well, I don't wear onesies. Maybe you do. No, I certainly (laughs) don't. don't. (laughs) But, you know, just like like lounging wear. I'm 100% laughing. You said said onesies. (laughs) That's what they're called. They're awesome. (laughs) Okay. They're cute sometimes, but I'd never wear them. My, my, <laughs> my myself this, just this would never allow. Podcast is me. going in many very directions, <laughs> so but that's anyway. the point of it. We, we're yeah. just trying to keep it light and stuff. Um, one thing, the last thing I wanted to say, I'm a huge art guy. Like I really enjoy art. I really um, uh, appreciate art, especially local art. Is I really like two galleries here here in Toronto. So you got the Nicholas uh, Metiver Gallery and also hmm. the or, uh, Olga Corper Gallery. Um, Olga, the uh, Olga Corporate Gallery has a really great artist named, uh, her name's Kelly Mark. I really like her simplicity in her paintings. Oh, neat. Um, yeah, it's really cool. So, you, you know, I know this episode is about gifts and stuff. Um, one gift I've liked in, in, in my past is literally just uh, just a show at a local art gallery. Like we went yeah, to that's one. that's a great idea. Me and one of my exes in Calgary, and it was actually great. Like the yeah. exhibition was amazing you well, know just you can the take experience the, of yeah. doing something actually on that yeah. we have um <laughs> another uh, we have a few clients have actually retired out into the gananoque area and they've actually put yep. together the gananoque arts network so it's a bunch of various artists that have come together cool and they have lots of different events so if you go onto their website and again we're going to post all of this stuff to find the links to everything yeah but they put all sorts of shows and experiences as an exhibit so that's a really good way to get out into the community and you know see oh, something a new percent. I well, think for sure, you know, if you're if you're looking into the holidays or if you're somebody who takes part in the holidays, I think it's a great time to really, you know, reach locally, even in terms of like um, volunteering at a local shelter, absolutely. for example, a, a yep. soup shelter or whatnot, um, you know, and even just supporting your local artists like this is a definitely a time to to give back and stuff. And I think anytime, you know, you can do something, especially as, as we, let's say, move forward in, in age, you know, anything yeah. you can do that's experiential is going to it's yeah. just going to feel so much more. It's going to be so much better than yeah. having a thing. Yeah. Because yeah. a thing over time, it, it just becomes a thing. Yeah. Versus yeah. experiences yeah. stay with you for the rest of your yeah. life. And I think yeah. that's, uh, that's that's quite... Thanks thanks for sharing that, guys. Well, that's, yeah. that's the thing with some of the local Thank stuff you. that you support. It's It has more meaning behind it, yeah. right? Yeah. Like, it's the thought that goes into it. That's what I always appreciate when people get mm-hmm. gifts. It's the thought that counts. Yeah. Um, but I, I really do love... Do you really believe that? I do believe that. Okay. I like, My mother is the best at that. She really... So your, can, your mother, you She's said? amazing yeah. at the thought that goes into her gift-giving ideas. Stuff so that you would think, like, how did she even, like, know that? I liked that or she's very creative Um, but again local things that you can find that are so unique and have a story attached to them I I think those are the best well those are some great gift giving ideas guys and uh, you know hopefully that will help you get your list uh, kickstarted I got some ideas (laughs) I got some ideas and feel free to reach out if you you need some more ideas I guess yeah thanks everybody happy Happy holidays holidays. happy holidays everyone